Hello guys, uh, in previous videos I talked about some basic concepts in trigonometry, angle measurement, right angle trigonometry, uh, trigonometric functions, uh, what the sine, cosine, tangent of theta are, a graph of trigonometric functions and some important angles of trigonometric functions. In this video I'm going to talk about fundamental identities of trigonometry. Okay, uh, I'm going to write the fundamental identities in trigonometry. Please remember that we need to memorize these identities uh, throughout your calculations and they are very useful to memorize. Uh, the first one is uh, cosecant of theta, which is the inverse of sine of theta. Then uh, secant of theta, which is the inverse of cosine of theta. Also, we have tangent of theta, which is defined as sine of theta over cosine of theta. Then we have cotangent of theta which is defined as cosine of theta over sine of theta uh, then cotangent of uh, based on this definition you can see that cotangent of theta is the inverse of tangent of theta Then uh, we have uh, one of the most important uh, uh, identities in trigonometry, which is sine of theta squared plus cosine of theta squared equals one. Uh, please remember this one as this is one of the most important identities in trigonometry. Uh, then uh, we also have one plus tangent of theta squared equals one over cosine of theta squared. This one is also very important to uh, remember. Similar to this one is 1 plus cotangent of theta squared equals 1 over sine of theta squared. This is also very important identity. Also we have sine of minus theta equals minus sine of theta and similarly cosine of minus theta equals cosine of theta uh, the reason is on the trigonometric circle so let me just draw that and explain. And if this is cosine and if this is sine, um, let's assume this is theta. Uh, this is cosine axis, this is sine axis, uh, and uh, you know that in this direction the theta sine is positive and in this direction is negative. So minus theta is this angle. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is cosine of theta 
and cosine of minus theta is also this. So as you see, this value is cosine of theta and they are the same for theta and minus theta. Uh, however, for sine of theta, uh, this is sine of theta and sine of minus theta is this one and as you see it is below the uh, cosine axis which is negative so that's why we have sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine of theta and uh, also cosine of minus theta equals cosine of theta they are the same uh, so this is the reason that I explain here let me just delete this and continue the identities okay uh, for tangent of minus theta we have sine of minus theta over cosine of minus theta we know that sine of minus uh, theta is minus sine of theta and cosine of minus theta is cosine of theta so it is minus tangent of theta also we have sine of pi over 2 minus theta equals cosine of theta and uh, why uh, I can explain and illustrate on the trigonometric circle um, let me draw the circle again okay okay this is assume this is theta and uh, as we know this is cosine axis and this is sine axis uh, cosine of theta uh, the right hand side of the identity the cosine of theta is this value this is cosine of theta uh, on the left side we have pi over 2 minus theta uh, we know that uh, pi over 2 is this angle and uh, pi over 2 minus theta is this angle so this angle is pi over 2 minus theta and uh, sine of this angle is the projection of the point on the sine axis which is this value so this is sine pi over 2 minus theta and as you can see this value and this value are equal on this circle uh, so this way I showed you that uh, sine of uh, pi over 2 minus theta is equal to cosine of theta which is this identity uh, so good to have this illustration in mind to prove uh, similar identities uh, another identity is cosine of pi 
pi over 2 minus theta which is equal to sine of theta again uh, from this uh, circle you can uh, conclude that th this identity can be obtained and also tangent of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to cotangent of theta uh, why you just simply um, divide this identity by this identity and you obtain uh, the last one that I wrote so as you can see by having one or two identities you can obtain uh, other identities in trigonometry which is um, simple but uh, remember that you have to memorize these identities in your calculations during exam and uh, so on I hope that this video helped you uh, to understand some of the basic identities in uh, trigonometry if you have any questions please leave a comment down below this video and i will get back to you as soon as i can also if this video helped you in any way please hit the like button and subscribe to ejo academy channel if you enjoy our content and would like to see more thank you for watching